Once you shut the coal mine down, you're hurting the backbone of this country. I've been a registered Democrat all my life, but I crossed over this year. I voted for Donald Trump because he promised to help the coal miners. And for this region, we need help. There's good men out here just walking the streets. Their families are getting desperate. Welfare can't keep people forever. These men need to go back to work. So I just left parts of Virginia and West Virginia, and the coal industry is decimated. The miners are out of work. They're totally out of work. I mean, there's, there will be no such thing as coal in this country pretty soon. What we're going to do, folks, is going to be so special. We're going to bring back our jobs. We are going to win. We are going to be America first. We are going to make America great again. I really want to be a coal miner. Always have been, ever since I was in high school. Everybody had their dreams about being a basketball player, a football player. I always just wanted to be a coal miner. But after about an hour, uh, the teams and the command center and everybody, uh, they start getting a little more serious about it. And then they start working the crop. How do we rock this? By hand and by machine. That's on the test. The First only thing hand, that I really give him thought is about is Trump getting in office and going back to work. We my American dream would just be to watch my kids grow up happy years. and healthy. That's the only thing I could ever ask for. I didn't have anything very long, you know, not a whole lot anyway. Didn't make enough, didn't work long enough. They said that things went dry. It made it really, really hard to take care of a baby and a wife. In 2000, it was booming. We wouldn't have a class unless we had 15, and we had to cut away at 25, and it stayed full. Pass it around. That's the heaviest unit. That is the best unit. And then in the last couple of years, it slowed down to where we actually voted several times whether to just lock the door or not. But since the election, a lot of lights have came on in mining. What we call compressed oxygen is that it doesn't feel like you're breathing air, but you are. It's just a chemical reaction. When I first started mining, this is what I had right here, a little W65 drag line. It would turn carbon monoxide into carbon monoxide. Most of them have a job waiting on them, or they wouldn't be here to spend that money. Getting outside with nobody hurt. Now that's what pays the bills and pays it the right way. We don't want no blood on that cup. Nobody does. We want you to work safe, smart. You got a lot more to learn, and we will review to where you'll be very comfortable. And, and we don't have anybody fail, all right? Well, if that's all, we'll see you in the morning at 8 o'clock. See you will be back. You got one more day. What year is this truck? 14. 14. I just got it two months before I got laid off. <laughs> so you need to hurry and get back to work. Yeah. I guess I basically seek it because it's hard work. And I've always been a fan of hard work. It's the way I was brought up. Family man, I guess. What are you doing, buddy? Callie, she's four days old. She's just born on Friday. Colton, he's, he'll be two in February. My father never was really there through the picture, you know. I've only got to meet him twice. I never would let my kids down. I always told myself that. Whoa! Whoa. Grandpa and Grandma, they, they adopted me, but they was never really able to work. They was already medically disabled. You never could really save anything, you know. 
You little traitor. Five of them get sugar though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> little traitor. I've always liked the thrill, adrenaline rush. When things get a little bit hairy, you know, I, I love being in those situations. Coal mining, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that risky. My family's done it for generations, but I think it's well worth it. You know, there's risk in everything you take. Because your response could save a life. Respirable dust is on the test. You can't see that with your naked eye. The dust you see, you'll cough up. It gets caught in your throat and in your nose and in your mouth. If we'll do our job, we can eliminate black lung. It's something you don't want as part of your check. If I would have been in my dad's shoes, my son would have never went to mine. But my dad wanted me to be around him, so I came home and be with him. Take the deep breath there. I really need to. Coal mining's a rough job. I was very seldom off. I work six days a week and sometimes seven. I work 16 hours a day instead of eight. When I first went into mines in 1969, the risk factor of black lung diseases wasn't mentioned a whole lot. Yeah. I was one of them young coal miners. I'd never get it. Nah, not me. I mean, it happened to a lot of these older miners, but not me. That's what I thought. Yeah, I walked too fast. The doctor told me, he said, you've contacted it, now you need to do something about it. But buying a home, buying two automobiles, had my daughter in school, he couldn't go out and just quit work and go hunt a job somewhere in another field that you wasn't even trained for. So you just had to keep working. You had to keep going until one day you realize, hey, I done went too far. <coughs> Our new administration is talking about repealing Obamacare and doing away with Obamacare and starting a new one. And one of our greatest fears now is if you take the provisions out for the coal miners, I spent four and a half years in litigation to get my black lung benefit started. I wouldn't want my wife to spend four and a half years trying to get her started if something were to happen to me. Realized a lot of coal mines were shut down. They filed bankruptcy, but taking a man's benefits shouldn't be part of that. But it's okay. It'll be okay. And everything that was promised unto him to go to work should be there waiting on him when he gets ready to retire without any controversy. He earned that. When they take that away, they're taking your livelihood away. Get too hot. How hard are you working? I looked this morning and didn't see anything. He said he didn't know. Four to three. Focus on your breathing. Okay. All right. Good job. So we've got to recondition every muscle in our body so that just the simplest tasks such as vacuuming, washing the dishes, carrying in the groceries, doesn't really put a strain on our system. So we've got to strengthen all of our muscles, not just our legs and our breathing muscles as well. We got to strengthen our arms too. I thought I was 10 foot tall and bulletproof. Didn't take long for me to realize I wasn't. Now I find myself as a, a 69 year old broken down coal miner. I think it's going to be the, the one to take me out. In the end, they can say, well, this man died of black lung. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Yeah, baby. I'm proud of you, honey. I'm proud of you, I am. You're my buddy. You're my baby. Easy. You gotta be easy with sissy. She's no hubby. If it picks up and it starts booming, that's probably all I'll do for the rest of my life.
until I retire anyway. I'd love to do that. Be a coal miner, support my family, make good money, you know, have something in life. I cherish the days I got to spend with my dad and work with him. Uh, I miss him. I really do. Uh, those memories I wouldn't, I wouldn't want taken away. And if I could give any advice to any young miner right now, I'd say run. Find you another occupation. When you see a coal mine, turn around and go the other way. Just go. Leave.